what is on my iPhone 6s video because this video has been super requested. I've actually been avoiding filming this video because I had the iPhone 5 before and I, I already filmed three what's on my iPhones so I was like mm, I really don't want to film another what's on my iPhone but now that I have the iPhone 6s I have finally given in to your guys' requests and I'm going to film it now. So for those of you who are wondering I have the iPhone 6s regular not the plus and it's in gold and it's 64 gigabytes. I have a bumper case on it and it is um, a purple lilac-y bumper case and it goes really well with the gold. Just a little disclaimer, I am not trying to brag in any way. I was actually not gonna film this video but it was so requested that I had no choice so I'm filming it right now. So, so when you turn on my iPhone, the first thing you see is my lock screen and my lock screen is of Pac of XO, he is my ultimate bias and XO is my ultimate bias group so I decided to have Bay on my lock screen and if you're wondering, yes, my um, phone is in Korean because I'm teaching myself Korean so having my phone in Korean is helping me pick up vocabulary that I otherwise wouldn't be picking up that quick this quickly so I'm gonna use Touch ID because I have Touch ID now which is so cool and my wallpaper for my home screen is actually a Christmas tree that's been blurred out and I really like how it looks with my apps. Normally it would be like Yu-Gi-Oh! of GOT7 or like V of Bangtan Sonyeondan but because I'm in the Christmassy mood I decided to just have a picture of a Christmas tree. So if you look at my apps right now you will see that they're all color coordinated and then I have a bunch of folders. So the bottom dock is like my most used apps. The first page is like the apps I use frequently and then the back page is the apps that I have but I don't use as often but I still need them or I can't delete them and stuff like that. So the first thing I have is, the first app I have on my front screen is Drama Fever and that's just where I watch Korean dramas. Then I have Time Hop and this is just an app where like you connect your social media to it and then it will show you what you posted on this exact day like two years ago three years ago four years ago a year ago it's really cool and i really like it then i have Zhonghua or phone and obviously i have phone on my phone so i can call people and then i have starbucks because i'm a basic girl um degree and this is just an app that converts celsius to fahrenheit or fahrenheit to celsius because i live in america and america uses fahrenheit but the rest of the world uses celsius so I need this app. Then I have Memorize and this is just an app where like I use to like teach myself Korean and I'll just show you how it goes really quickly. So they do something like they have to say like, the vocabulary word and you have to match it with the English word and then yeah it's just a really cool app that I like to use. Next I have T0 and this is just a countdown app. Right now I'm counting down to Christmas which is actually in 12 hours because I had to refilm this video and I actually had filmed it on like the 20th and now I have to refilm it. It's not fun, but yeah. And if you don't celebrate Christmas or you don't you just don't care, um, New Year's is in seven days, which is so crazy to think that 2016 is in a week, but I'm gonna try and live in 2015 while I still can. Then I have the mail app and the mail app is one of the apps that actually uses 3D touch, which is pretty cool. But I have no mail right now. Then I have App Store, and that's just where you get apps on an iPhone if you have like an Android or you don't have a phone. Then I have Musician's Kit, and this is just a tuner slash metronome because I play the flute and at home I don't have a tuner so I just use my phone as my tuner. Then I have, and it's actually pretty accurate, so it's a really good app. If you play an instrument, I really recommend that app. Then I have iTunes Store, and that's self-explanatory, it's just where you buy music, I don't buy my music anymore, moving on. Then I have Yahoo Weather, and I like it a lot more than the um, weather app that comes on the phone, but this is just what it looks like. I don't live in San Francisco, but I'm just showing that because I'm not actually going to show you where I live, you feel? But I just it just has like really cool animations or like pictures of that area, and then I'll show you like the actual weather, which is what the app's for, and then I'll show you like humidity, and like wind speed, and then I'll show you like a geographic thingy, and then I'll show you like water, and then I'll show you um, where the sun is in the sky, and the face of the moon as of right now. Then I have Bible, which is also an app that uses 3D Touch, and it just, I'm a forgetful person and I always forget to bring my Bible to church, so I just have it on my phone because I never forget to bring my phone anywhere, and that way um, I can read along with the, whatever the pastor is talking about. Then I have three folders, so I have a game folder, a school folder, 
and an editing folder. So the first, we were having some technical difficulties, so yeah, that's why I just cut really randomly. I have Dumb Ways to Die 2, which is just a game where like you have to make sure these people don't die, which I'm not gonna open it because when I open any of my games apps, like the quick time crashes, so I'm just not gonna deal with that. Then I have Quiz Up, which is just a trivia game where like you play against your friends or like random people on the app. And it's just like there's like a bunch of different categories, like one category is geography, and then it'll show you like a picture of a place and be like, where is this? Or it'll show you like a map and be like, where what what's the name of this country? Or like, where is this monument? Or stuff like that, which I really like, it's pretty fun to play. Then I have Friends Pop, which is a cacao game, which I can't open to show you, which makes me really sad, but I've been addicted to this game. Best thing I can compare it to is Candy Crush, but it's not Candy Crush. It's I can't explain it, and I can't even show you because then my phone will crash, so we're just gonna avoid that. <laughs> Oh no, it crashed again. Oh my god! Okay. It's back. Next, I have my school folder. And in here, I just have Google, which is self-explanatory because I Google practically everything. Then I have Google Classroom, which is just a place where like teachers can post assignments or like assignments. Basically what all my teachers do for is just assignments where they post links and stuff. Then I have presentations, which is basically like Google's version of PowerPoint, which I have to use because school. Then I have Google Drive, which is just, it's just where everything that you have on Google goes. Then I have Google Docs, which is basically just Google's version of Word. Then I have um, Neighbors Hajon, which is just a, a creative dictionary, which I like to use because it's more reliable, especially because it's actually a Korean app, so I rely on it more. And, um, what I really like about it, let me just type in like, mom, mom, if you didn't know. And I really like this app because it will give you like the word in sentences. So like, this one says like, my mom thinks Pearly is my girlfriend. It's like, I don't know if I pronounced all that correctly because I have a speech impediment, but I just really like how it gives you like words so like you can actually understand how the word would fit into a sentence, which I really like. Then I have Google, um, I have Google Translate, and the only reason I have this app is because it has a picture mode. You can take a picture of it and it'll translate the picture for you, and it's just amazing. So I really like that app. Then I have Edline, and that is just the app my school uses for grades. Then I have Quizlet, which is a lifesaver. It's just an online um, flashcard thing. But what, what I really like about it is because I'm a visual learner, it gives you the flashcards, right? And then there's like games on it. So like it's like memorizing games, which works really well for me. So I really like Quizlet, so I really recommend it. Then I have Calculator because math is not my strong point. <laughs> Mental math isn't my strong point anymore. And then I have Photo Map, and I rarely use this app. But it's an app where like, you can take a picture of a math problem and then it will show you step by step how to solve it, which is really cool, so that's why I have it. Then I have my editor app, so I have Photo Wonder, which is just a... Cutie Kuda app is the best way I can describe it. It like, softens your skin, it makes you look more glowy, it makes your eyes wider, stuff like that. Then I have Visio Cam, or Visco Cam, whatever you call it, and it's just my main editing app. And then I have Rekuga Cute, which adds like sparkles and stuff to my photos. And if you want me to do a how I edit my Instagram photos, just comment down below and I'll be sure to do that. Next page I have are all the apps that I use, but I don't really use, you feel? So I have photo, and in here I just have camera, photos, and FaceTime, self-explanatory. Then I have here, which is, it's labeled Seregi, which is trash in Korean because I don't use half of these apps. But I have notes, settings, weather, calendar, video, wallet, reminders, socks, find my friends, which I find find my friends really creepy, and I hope none of my friends actually use that app, but. Then I have maps, I both health, Apple Watch, which I can't even use because I don't have an Apple Watch, Game Center, Creative Tracker, Compass, Tips, and Voice Memos. I mean, I use some of these apps, but like, for instance, Stocks. I don't use Stocks because I don't care about Stocks. I don't care. But I can't get rid of the app. Then I have here, which is just, it's Muja Wait. I think that's what that's, I always forget these symbols. Anyway, but it's just, it just means random in Korean, and I just have S Workout, which is what I use to work out. Then I have Clock because, um, if I don't have this, I won't wake up in time for school. Then I have contacts and find my iPhone. And find my iPhone is actually a lifesaver. So if you, if you don't have it on your iPad or like your phone or iPod, I really recommend getting it. Then in here, I just have this folder labeled Apple and that's just all, it's just like Apple apps. So I have Pages, Keynote, and GarageBand. I deleted all the other apps that I was like, I'm never gonna use these apps, but um, these apps I have potential of using. So that's why I have them. Now on to the bottom row. I have four folders at the bottom. I have SNS, chatting, music, and YouTube. So first one labeled SNS and I just labeled it SNS because 
I think I'm Korean or something. So the first steps I have is Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram. And this is my theme, like the pinky theme right now, that's what I'm trying to go for right now. That's the theme I really like. So if you want to see how I edit my photos into this theme, let me know. And then these are all my previous themes. I tried to go through a theme where like I made everything very vibrant, but then it made me look really orange, so I like cut the theme out of my life. But yeah. Then I have Snapchat. Um, this is my Snapchat code, so if you want to take a picture of it right now, you can just automatically add me. But if you don't want to take a picture, you just want to know it. It's KimXO123. That is my Snapchat. And I post a lot of things. Oh, so let me show you my Snapchat story right now. <laughs> yeah, we had a party in French yesterday. It was lovely. We had a bunch of French, French foods. So it was really cool. Then I have Twitter, which is self-explanatory, but yeah, I just, I retweet a lot. I barely, if you get this, I love you. But yeah, a lot of people aren't actually active with me on Twitter, so if you want me to post more, just follow me. My Twitter is at the beauty lover X. So yeah, then I have Tumblr and um, Tumblr is just life. But if you want to follow me, which I mean I don't really recommend because I I don't post anything. I really just read blog things. It's at the XX Brown Eyed Beauty Lover XX. Then I have Wattpad, which I'm not going to go into, but that's where I read my fan fiction because I'm a fan girl. Then I have EXO L app, which is for EXO. L's, which is EXO's fan base name, and have they posted anything on Star? Nope, they haven't. The last time they posted something was the 19th of November. Then I have We Heart It, and We Heart It is just where I get like a bunch of my wallpapers. Like the Christmas tree wallpaper I have is from We Heart It, and yeah, if you want to follow me on We Heart It, it's just at the Beauty Lover X, like most of my other um, social media stuff. Then I have the V app, and this is just an app where like you can watch a bunch of them. Broadcast by Korean idols and stuff. Let's see. A Pink's on, BTS is on, Eric's on, Icon's on. Oh, so many to choose from. I don't know what to watch. I watch. Then I have You Now, and that's just where like like some YouTubers go to do live broadcasts, so that's why I have it on my phone. Then I have my chatting folder, and I just have Kakao Talk, um, which is personal. But I have Line. Line is not personal. I'll have my Line thing right on the screen right now. And then I have Messages, which is just where I talk to my friends that don't have those apps. Then I have my world music and that's just where I have all my music apps so I have free music because I don't buy my music anymore um <laughs> and then I have um this the regular music app which I don't use I only use it because I have the free trial for Apple music but I don't have the free trial anymore so like, it's just there then I have Shazam or Shazam as Mitch and Scott it. And it's just an app where like you can, if you don't know what the name of the song is, I use this a lot for YouTube videos, you can just play, use the app to figure it out. I know you can use Siri, but just, Siri is not discreet, so I use it because it's more discreet. Then I have YouTube, last folder, almost done guys. So I have the YouTube folder, which is just YouTube, self-explanatory, I'm a YouTuber, obviously, I'm a, 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 I can't even speak because I love YouTube that much, but like I have YouTube, I'm obsessed with YouTubers, I watch a bunch of YouTube, YouTubers and stuff like that. So that's why I have the YouTube app. Then I have studio and on here I can just check analytics and let's see, let me give up some shout out. Shout out to these people that commented on my video recently. And yeah. But yeah, this is where I can check my analytics, reply to comments easily, see where most people watch my video from. Um, which I actually have a bunch of Korean subscribers, so I'm gonna tell. And then I have iMovie, and this is just, I have it in here because I'm gonna try and start vlogging more, so I'm gonna edit all my vlogs on the iMovie app and stuff like that. And that is all. So that is all that was on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there were a bunch of tec technical difficulties, but I got through it. Um, if you want me to do it, how I edit my Instagram photos, remember to give this video a thumbs up or comment down below to let me know. I do K-beauty, regular beauty, fashion, K-pop, and random videos. So if you enjoy those types of videos, please hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos from yours truly. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies! Huh?